Right. I'm in... I'm at Black Rock Wood. It's probably got a proper name. Um, over there we've got the wireless station up on the Mendipsut. Longwood. Walked past that the other day, not through it, but past it. And I've just come through here. And um, it does look like some sort of feature though, doesn't it? Definitely does. Look like it might have been some sort of fortress at one point. There's something about it. Makes me think that. I'll have to remember to look at the top of that another time. Right, so I'm in this wood. It's quite light at the moment because there's no leaves or tree. Uh, no leaves on the trees. This is a small walk you can do with kids. I mean, they won't struggle so much going up them steps, but you you know you can go down them. This does look so much like it was have been part of a f natural defence, even if it's ge geology, it could have been used. And look at the stones wedged in there, look, in those roots. They're wedged right in. I don't want to go down, so what will happen if um, I am on the wrong route, because there is more than one way up, I'll have to go back and climb up that hill back there, because I don't want to be going down, you see. But I've got a feeling it just curves round. It's amazing geology though, isn't it? Looks like it's had a few tumbles as well over the years, doesn't it? Yes. I'll have to dig up. I keep meaning to get a book and dig up more information about the features on my walks. Um, I mean, the thing is, I go on so many walks that uh, I mean, this is a. I'm actually not going from A to B today. I am literally doing a lot of in and outs. You know, I'm not going from A to B. I, I've got a, a mission, but it doesn't matter how I get there. If you know what I mean. It doesn't matter if I'm taking diversions en route. We've got a good four and a half hours. And if I do feel I'm running out of time, then I know a shorter way to where I want to go another time. Maybe next week. It's got to be done before cows are released. You can do these wood walks without worrying about cows, I think. But it's slippery still. These roots are slippery. The trees are very wet as well. Very wet. Oh, there's a little flag up. Someone's put a little box there for a bird. Yeah, I would have thought this was a natural defence place once up here. But someone's looking after the wild animals. I've seen a few bird boxes. This is a nice little walk to take children, isn't it? Give them a stick. Use your imagination, you know, we're in Hobbit land, because that's what it reminds me of. All these old trees and these lumps and bumps everywhere. And these green, creepy trees. Hi, tree. There are a lot of them are asleep at the moment because it's winter. There's another building up there. I think I went up close to that last time. Look at the size of these roots, look. Massive, aren't they? 
what I said though, I don't want to be going down. Not too much. I've got a head up, up in a minute. Otherwise I've got to turn back. But no, it go, I think it carries on, weaves on round, because I've done it before. It's just that I've only done it once before. And what's that say? That just gives you an arrow. The old spooky woods, isn't it? The old, we very creepy at night in here, isn't it? Yeah, real hobbit land this is. Look at it. With, um, creepy overgrown buildings hidden. Or natural phenomena that were turned into sheltered places. Which would have happened a lot, wouldn't it? People would have made use of the geology to make shelter. I wonder if the Romans were here. I keep seeing this sort of type rock and I'm wondering if it's Roman cement. That's what it reminds me of. I'm going to be doing something about Roman cement on the course I'm on soon. I've had a little look. But there's another bit there. It just looks more like Roman cement than natural geology. I suppect if you had a microscope you could identify it. Yeah. It's the sort of place they might have had a fortress, you say. That's what it feels like to me, that this would have been a lookout post. They would have had the Iron Age people, they would have had forts all over the place. Sort of commanding view up here, because there wouldn't have always been a wood here. They probably had wooded areas because they would need to have fires. But see that, that down there. Look at that there, you see. That looks so shaped, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? It just looks so shaped. That would have been a part of a building. That's what it feels like to me. It's just the way it sat there, so with straight lines. Yeah, when I come up another time, I need to go back along there and have a look at that really big bit to see if there's any other signs of it once being a fortress. A fort, I should say. I'll be coming out near the Wellington Farm area in a minute. That's where this takes me. So, I'm going to take some photos now. Over and out.